Do you want to learn how you can deploy a React app with user authentication without loads of hassle? In this video, that is exactly what I'm going to teach you how to do. Hi guys, my name is Sam with Complete Coding, where our aim is to make you into the best developer that you can be. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can use AWS Amplify to set up a new React app and have authentication automatically handled for us by Amplify and Amazon Cognito. Now that we're in the code, we can look at setting up this React app with AWS Amplify. The first thing that we need to do is actually install the AWS Amplify CLI. So what I'm going to do is go into a terminal. Now this terminal could be inside VS Code like me, or it could just be a normal terminal. And we're going to do npm install minus g AWS Amplify CLI. And this is the CLI that will allow us to interact with AWS Amplify for creating certain things that we need for this process. Once this has finished updating, then we can move on to creating our React app. Now that has finished installing, we can install React and create a React app. So I already have create React app installed. So I can run npx create dash react dash app and then the file name for my new react repo and i'm going to call this amplify dash react dash app and what this is going to do is create the folder download a react template and set up everything we need this takes a little bit of time as well so i'll get back to you when that is done so now our Amplify app has been created, we can open it up in VS Code. I'm going to click on Open, which is File and Open, and then find that. So Amplify React app. Inside here, we can get rid of the welcome page, and we see we have all of the files we need, including all of the source. So the next thing we need to do is open up the terminal again. And in here, we need to set up um, our Amplify to work with our AWS account. So the way that we do that is to use Amplify, which is using the Amplify CLI, and then it's configure. And what this is gonna do is it's going to guide us through the setup process to get a new Amplify setup. That is going to open up a new AWS console tab, and you need to make sure that you're logged into the right account with the right permissions to be able to do things such as setting up IAM roles. So it's best to be logged in as an administrator. If we go back to here, that is exactly what it's telling us to do. And as we are logged in as that, we can hit enter. We then need to select the region that we're going to be deploying to. I'm going to go with EU West 2. And then we can specify the name of our new IAM user. In this case, I'm going to call it serverless amplify. And again, it's going to open up a new tab and it's gonna go through the process of setting up this serverless Amplify user. It needs to use programmatic access. So we hit next. They've already automatically set the administrator access. So all we need to do is hit next and get through to the review process. Now we can click create user and it's generated our serverless Amplify user. We need to copy our access key ID and head back to our terminal where it's telling us 
to set up the user and then press enter. So the first thing we need to do is paste in our access key, which we've just copied, and then copy our secret key. So in here, we need to click show and copy that across. So I've just copied my secret key. I can go back into here, paste that in and hit enter. So now we've pasted that in, we get to choose the profile name. Again, I'm gonna go with serverless-amplify, and that has set up our new user. So the last thing that we need to set up is we need to initialize Amplify on this repo. We do that with saying in our terminal, Amplify init, and we'll go through some extra steps to set up this project. We need to enter a name, an environment, and for these, I'm going with the default. We can choose our editor, and I'm gonna use VS Code because that is what I'm using. We're developing a JavaScript app, so we can hit enter. And then we need to specify the framework. Here, we're using React, so just hit enter. Again, the directory path is source, which is true for us, and the distribution path is also gonna be build. The commands are gonna be defaults, so all of this is really nice as it's automatically set up for us. This then uses some AWS cloud formation to set some extra things up, and then it asks us if we want to use a profile. We do, and we want to use the profile that we set up in the last step, so we need to say yes. And we're gonna be using serverless amplify. Now that this is set up, it takes a little bit of time to deploy all of this and get our serverless setup done. So I'll get back to you when that is done. So now that is all done, we have now got an extra folder in here called amplify and a file in here called AWS exports and we're gonna be setting up some extra stuff, which is going to configure this file a little bit more. In our terminal, we can now run amplify, add auth. And this is gonna step-by-step step guide us through the process of adding authentication to this React app. So we're gonna go with the default configuration we want the user to be able to log in with their email address. And that is all we want to do. We don't want to do any further and more advanced settings. So now that is done, we can get this pushed up to Amplify. We do that again with Amplify push. So when we are pushing, we're asked if we want to create a new resource and we're gonna click on yes. This is gonna update some resources and do some changes to our Cognito user pools on our account. Now that that has all updated, if we have a look at our AWS exports, this has been updated to have a new identity pool and a user pool. So now we can get on to the more interesting part of this which is actually adding some code to our app. Where we're gonna start is we're gonna start inside app.js. And to start with, we're going to just rip out all of the content in the middle of here, as this is where we're gonna put our new code. We're then going to add a new component in here and call it amplify sign out like that and as well as a sign out we're going to have the content for this i'm not going to do anything fancy i'm just going to do a h2 and in that h2 i'm going to say my app content in this place here you can do whatever you want this can be where you use React Router, or this is where any of your other single page app content could go. Now what we need to do is actually import this Amplify signout. 
So we need to import a couple of things. So import amplify from AWS dash amplify. And make sure we've spelt it all right. As well as that, we need to import our config. So import AWS config from dot slash AWS exports. And the final import that we need to do is we need to import And we're going to be importing the Amplify signout and also with Authenticator. And we're going to be importing those from at AWS dash Amplify slash UI dash react. We can then set up our configuration. So amplify dot configure and we're going to pass in our AWS config. And that is almost all of our app set up. The last thing that we need to do is instead of exporting just the app, we're going to wrap this app with the with authenticator, just like this. And that is going to add authentication to our system. We now need to install those two packages. So npm install dash dash save AWS dash Amplify and at AWS Amplify forward slash UI dash React. And once these have installed, that is everything we need to set up our app. I'll get back to you once those have installed so that we can test out our new app. So now that that has finished, we can run npm start which will start up our app with our AWS Amplify setup. So that didn't take as long as I expected. And here we get a login page. So this is the default login and sign up page that you get from Amplify, which is really nice because I've not had to do any of this. Now what we can do is we can try and log in. If I try and use Sam at complete coding.io and a password of something secure and hit sign in. Obviously it doesn't work because the user doesn't exist. So what we need to do is copy our email address and go to create account. Here we want to have our username there, but we also want to set it as our email and then I'm also going to generate a random password of capitals and symbols and all sorts. I'm going to copy that password and paste that in there. If you want, you can also add a phone number, but it's not required for this. We hit create account. And in a second, I should receive an email which will contain a verification code for me to prove that I have signed up and verified this account. So my confirmation code is 060947. And if I hit confirm, it takes us through to our home page, which is the background with a sign out button and my app content, which is exactly what we expect. If you'd built out this app, then you'd have that there. And you can put this sign out component wherever you like, whether it's in a navigation or on a sidebar somewhere. 
if we actually click the sign out, it takes us back to that home page. But now, this time, I can do sam at complete coding.io, use the same password and sign in, and we get to our page, which is exactly what we expect to happen. In this video, we looked at how we can set up a React app using AWS Amplify. We went through all of the steps of configuring Amplify, initializing the app, and then adding authentication, and setting how it works. We then made a slight modification to the code to add the sign out button and wrap the whole app in the with authenticator from AWS Amplify. And that meant when we ran our app, we were able to allow new users to sign up. We were able to stop unsigned up users from signing in. And when we had signed up, we could log in and get through to our app. This now means you can create apps with authentication really quickly and easily, which is a really cool and powerful thing to be able to do. In the next video, we're gonna be checking out some more things that we can do with Amplify. So make sure that you've subscribed down here and turned on the bell notification to make sure you get notified when that video comes out. Thank you and I'll see you in that video.